The Empower Hour, the most informative environmental news hour on planet Earth. Get the tools you need to make a clean, green difference. It all starts with putting the brakes on water pollution. I'm Chris Jackson. And I'm Will Sanders. The Empower Hour is now. Empower Hour senior correspondent Kate Campbell continues her investigation into mysterious spots on pavement and even rainbows appearing in lots across Tennessee. Chris, with the help of an automotive expert, Kate sheds new light on what turns out to be an old problem. We're going live to Kate for the story. Are you there, Kate? Under here. Are you okay, Kate? Hello? Yes, yes, Chris, I'm fine. I was directed down here to find the source of the spotted pavements and parking lot rainbows we've been seeing around town. You've heard the ancient saying the best place to find a leak is to look where it's leaking. No, actually that's the first time I've heard that. It's true. Ever notice the black stains in your driveway or green ooze in your garage? How about the red ooze you leave in the parking lot? And when it rains, how all these come together to create a rainbow? Yes? Well, pay attention out there because your car just might be the source if it's leaking fluids. If you find a puddle of red stuff and you're sitting in a restaurant, well, chances are it's probably ketchup. But if the puddle's outdoors and under your car, it's most likely a transmission fluid leak. To demonstrate all of this, I had wanted to put these fluids on the garage floor, but Barry, our automotive expert, pointed out that any leak, no matter the reason or size, can cause water pollution. So use your imagination as we explain this while keeping the fluids in the test tubes. So to continue, if you find an oily green or yellow liquid in your driveway, chances are it's from your radiator. That green liquid is coolant and poisonous to the environment, as well as pets. If you see a puddle that is oily and black. Chances are it's an oil leak. Oil is used to lubricate your engine so it runs smoothly. Oil leaks can occur in many places for a number of reasons. A worn gasket or plug or even an inexperienced mechanic. An easy way to deal with an oil leak is to use an absorbent like kitty litter, sawdust, or oil dry to soak up the oil. Whenever you see fluids on the ground or pavement under your vehicle, take it to a professional mechanic who can help you identify and fix the leak. Otherwise, the problem will get worse, and you could even be left without wheels. Great job of giving a shop class, Kate. But aren't we doing a show about the environment? Oh, I almost forgot that part. Whatever leaks from your car gets washed by the rain into the storm drain, which in turn takes the water directly into our rivers and streams. When you think about the hundreds of thousands of cars and trucks that are leaking, you can see just how one leaking car can add up to a really big water pollution problem. Rainbows are beautiful in the sky, but ugly, slimy, and sketchy on the parking lot. And one final note, Chris. While I've been focusing on cars and trucks, our viewers need to understand that leaking fluid from boats, motorcycles, ATVs, and even lawnmowers can contribute to our water pollution problems. Back to you, Chris. Thank you, Kate. Kate solved the mystery and enlightened us all. We'll be back with a special report right after this empowering message. Columbia, this is Houston. Go ahead, over. There seems to be no difficulty in moving around. It's a very simple matter to hop down from one step to the next. And walking is also very comfortable. Yeah, this is Houston. That's affirmative.